Hello world, it is 12.58 a.m. on January 2nd, and we're going to do uh, episode one of Breakfast at Gringo's. It is morning time, so technically we can have breakfast. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how I eat tamales. So, if you microwaved your tamale, it's wrapped in a paper towel because obviously you have to wrap it in a moist paper towel to microwave it and the first thing you do is enjoy this free hot towel because uh... well who wouldn't alright so that's done next step is uh... remove the corn husk and as soon as that is gone you just throw it away because those are icky and I don't want to deal with it okay so now you get your hot sauce. I'm using Tapatio because it's all I have, but I prefer Cholula. And you want to put it on as evenly as possible and spread it around before it drips. Get it nice and even all over the tamale. Perfect. So now using the fork, <clears throat> I cut off or, or cut through the middle rather, and then cut sideways to get a square. And then using the fork, like a forklift, you pick up the square. Oh crap. Pick up the square, and eat it. So today, I want to talk about gigs. Gigs really suck. Um, they're fun, but it's a lot of work in preparation, and uh, it's kind of stressful. Probably the most dreadful part is uh, cleaning up after. Being a drummer, I have to move a butt ton of equipment off the stage as fast as possible. And my band members are pretty cool. They help me out, but it is a big job. And then I gotta pack it up in the car and drive it home. And it usually sits in the living room for about a day because I just don't want to set it up again. Actually, I don't know if you can see behind me, but this is where my drum set usually is. But not today. It's still in the living room. I had a gig on a on New Year's Eve. It was good, but stressful. So what's new in your life, huh? We eat any uh, tamales recently? Those holiday tamales? You have to be honest, it's probably my favorite Christmas food. Right up there with um, De La Rosa. It's a peanut candy, marzipan is what it's called. It's so good. That also has a particular way of being eaten. That's another episode. I think what I like most about gigs is just the actual playing. Like, if I could just leave my drum set in one place and have people come to me to see my band, that would that would just be awesome. That would be fantastic. You'd just be like, hey, you know, ten bucks, come into my living room and see some bands yeah that'd be awesome actually I met someone a while ago and for the life of me I can't remember who it is but uh the offspring was was getting their getting their big start and they were doing some practice shows to go on tour and they called him up and they were like because I, I think he knew someone in the band and they were like hey can we play in your living room and he was like hell yeah so <laughs> they played a show in his living room Pretty awesome. I absolutely cannot remember who that was, and I wish I knew, because I would love to have him or her tell that story. I'm not a great storyteller. There was a kid at the gig on New Year's Eve. I think he was turning 15 at midnight, and I didn't know, but I was handing out free T-shirts, and I and I gave him one, and he just bubbled over with excitement, and he was like, "Dude, this is awesome!" And, um, yeah. 
Cool story, bro. And then I found five dollars. You know what bugs me about about the new year is that people are are unsure how to greet people with the new year. They say Happy New Year's and Oh, how was your New Year's? And it bugs the crap out of me. The proper way to greet someone on New Year's Eve is Happy New Year's Eve. And years is Y E A R apostrophe S. If it is the New Year, then you say Happy New Year, singular, not possessive. But, you know, people just. Education sucks, you know? No one knows how to say anything. In English is just dumb in general. There's so many rules that get broken. Like, for example, Happy New Year's Eve. It's possessive. The New Year owns its Eve, right? But Christmas Eve is just Christmas Eve. There's no possession. Isn't that weird? I just, I don't know. Then I found $5. For those diehard fans out there that don't know me personally, I am very big on proper grammar. It's something I enjoy. I. That's another thing I don't have an explanation for. I, I don't know why. It's just... It bothers me when people are like, ain't, you know, and y'all, and using your and your wrong, and there and there and there, and, you know. You know, ain't is actually in the dictionary? It is. If you go look it up, ain't is a word in the dictionary. And it's only because people use words that they become proper or official. And if you've read the book Frindle, you know all about that. But I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to just invent a word just to mess with people's heads and just give it a meaning, and then one day it'll end up in the dictionary too? It'd be pretty cool to have your own word, you know? All right, well, the tamale's done. My drums are still not set up, and I don't give a damn. So, see you next episode. Bye.